Hello, my students that are in Drawing the Line. Um, in this, one of these lessons that we're doing, we're going to learn how to zentangle some animals. One of the projects is going to be this owl. And if you look really closely, it's divided into lots and lots of smaller shapes and lots of zentangled patterns. Those are just designs repeated over and over again. Another one that we're going to be doing is going to be this cat. And this is the one we're going to start with because it's going to be a simpler project. And the way that we're going to start this is I am going to show you how to draw just the silhouette, the shape of the cat. And we're going to divide it into lots of different organic and geometric shapes. And then in each of these different shapes we're going to create some different patterns called Zentangle. So I'm going to show you right in this video how to learn how to do just some basic Zentangle designs. There's nothing complicated about them. But once you put enough of them together, they turn out really amazing. So I just have a piece of paper that I've divided into certain little rectangles. I'm just going to show you one, one quick idea, and then another and another. Let's say you have a shape like this. It doesn't even have to be a rectangle. But if you take this and just divide it, you can divide it again. So now we have some more lines in there. Then what you can do is inside each of these little shapes that you've created, draw some other lines. So now what you're doing is learning how to entangle. These lines can go in all different directions. There's no right, there's no wrong. But we're just dividing the space into different patterns. Another one you could do is fish scales. So beside that, in this section, I could draw some semicircles. I'm going to repeat that and in the middle, draw another one. You notice they're not right on top of each other, they're staggered. And repeat that again. And repeat that again. So it's the repetition of lines and shapes that are very meditative. So I could just draw a little loop over here to now create another shape. And maybe in this one, I'll do some swirling lines. And maybe in those swirling lines, I could draw some circles that intersect them. And maybe in those circles, I could color in a pattern of negative space. Kind of like the yin and the yang. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just giving you an idea. So you're going to start creating and practicing with lots of patterns. Let's see what that's looking like now. Over here, you could draw some, just some organic pebbles. You could draw the pebbles with lines around them, like the ripples in the water. 
see what I'm doing? It's very simple to create patterns. This one's fun. Let's say I take a line here and draw a line here. We'll do the same here. Just dividing the paper in kind of random lines and just kind of keep doing that. You could just do swirls. So as I'm doing these, I want you to practice doing it too. I'm using a Sharpie marker. I hope you will, but you can practice with pencils. Oh, there are so many of them we could do. Here's one. Let's say we draw two lines or three. And now we're going to do perpendicular lines. And now perpendicular lines. Perpendicular. 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 So you just have to concentrate on the pattern you're working on. and fill that little area with repeated lines. Let's see, what's another great idea? Oh, here's one. Let's just say we draw some big spears. And then you just repeat that pattern, alternating it. Repeat it again. And again. And again. See how easy it becomes? You could just draw some vertical lines and then in there you could draw diagonal lines and then do the opposite and again the opposite see how we're creating pattern Almost looks like an optical illusion. You could draw what looks like feathers. There's the stem of the feather, and you could draw some random little feathery things out. That's kind of fun. So it's whatever it is as a pattern. You could do, oh, let's say we could just draw lines like this to fill up some space. But then, in order to change that pattern a little bit, after we've drawn those curved lines, like horseshoes almost, then you could draw some lines in between it. But what I want you to do basically is do a lot of practice ideas. Here's a rainbow. 
and the ones you like the best, the ones you're most comfortable with, are the ones that you will fill in the patterns of your cat owl. This one's really simple. Just draw some lines like this and lines opposite it. It's kind of like crosshatch. So just figure some things out. There's no right or wrong. Whatever works in that shape. So I want you to play with yours. And once we have lots of patterns and lines that we are comfortable with, you can even go back the opposite way. Then we're going to draw our subject and zentangle it. So if you're in my drawing the line class, I'm going to give you a little pamphlet that I have already created that I'm showing you examples of what they look like and then you're going to practice on the opposite side. There's several pages of that and then at the very end I've got some blank pages where you're just going to practice designing your own. So good luck with this Zentangle artwork and I look forward to seeing your amazing Zentangle cat. And then a step up from that, we'll be doing a Zentangled Owl. So until then, my friends, stay well and stay Zenful. That means you're relaxed and meditative. Thank you. Bye.